It's Fiasco, back for another Madden Daily Tip. What's up, everyone? First of all, I just want to apologize. Um, I'm a little sick, so the voice might be annoying, as if it isn't already annoying, but whatever, we'll get through it. Today, we're going to look at something I'm sure all of you can use. I say that because at one point or another, maximum coverage defense in Madden 13 has somewhat slowed you down. So today, I'm going to give you one of my methods on how I beat it. Alright, so when does the defense use maximum coverage defense? Some players legit play the whole game like that. They don't care. But um, usually when you know you have a play or a set that your opponent is having trouble trying to stop, he's going to go into a maximum coverage defense. Now what is that? It's when your opponent puts everyone on the defensive line in coverage, pretty much, and leaves just one blitzer, maybe two, with a QB spy. And that QB spy prevents you from running with your quarterback when everyone is out on their routes. For the purpose of this play, I'm going to use a popular maximum coverage defense. It's a two-man under with the defensive ends in purple buzz zones and one of the DTs in a spy. As you can see, this gives you a small window to throw into and any pass is risky. You need to understand that every good Madden player will always have some form of maximum coverage defense they will throw at you. What you ideally want here is to be in a formation that's giving your opponent the most trouble and run your plays that you are having success with, but you want to incorporate a drag route from an outside receiver. This works with any receiver on a drag, but we prefer to have an outside receiver come across the middle. All you have to do is playmaker the receiver up and he instantly cuts upfield and look at the separation he gets. There are a couple of things you need to know first. The playmaker function triggers the wide receiver closest to the quarterback. Now, to playmaker, what you need to do is hold the left trigger and choose the direction you want your receiver to go in with the right thumbstick. For this play, we hit up on the right thumbstick because we want our receiver going upfield. Now, what you need to know is when you playmaker a receiver upfield, he acts as a streak. So now you can apply the appropriate precision pass necessary to make a completion. In this case, we have the positioning for a left bullet pass, so that's what we do. I want to stress, don't make this your primary focus. You need to have your other routes out there, as this should be a third or fourth read. It should never be your first read after the snap. Since I showed you how it works against man, I want to show you against a zone maximum coverage defense. Usually when you run a zone max defense, you're going to want to send an extra blitzer, as a zone max defense tends to have a lot more receivers eventually get open. But for the purpose of the play, the drag route is the same. We're going to put him on a drag and playmaker him upfield. Now the difference here is we're going to wait for the receiver to clear the underneath zones before throwing the bullet pass either to the left or to the right. And don't be afraid to do this under center also. It works in any formation. Keep in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Practice this in practice mode before taking it into a game. It's very simple and you'll definitely be very successful with it. Tune into my next tip coming soon, which will be another method on how you can beat max coverage defense. Trust me, you're going to want to know how to do this one. But if this video gets 10 comments on our site, I'll post it as soon as we get the 10th comment. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Madden Daily. Also, if you haven't joined yet, please do. Your chance at winning $150 cash is on our website. Anyone can join at any time. Don't be shy. Details are on our site under the NFL Vegas section. Check it out. Free money.